When working to create a clinical picture, it's important to consider the patient, the organ structure, and the microscopic to molecular details of individual cells in order to gain an overall perspective, while also understanding the elementary nature of an illness. Oliver Brüssler's research focuses on the human brain. A neuropathologist and stem cell researcher at the University Hospital of Bonn, he strives to better understand patients' healthy, diseased, degenerated and mutated brain cells and recreate them in the lab. We use stem cell technology to produce brain cells in the laboratory from blood samples or from skin samples and we use these cells for two different purposes. On the one hand, for disease research. We want to understand how disease processes operate in the nervous system. This involves neurodegenerative diseases, psychiatric diseases, but also malformations of the brain. On the other hand, we want to use these cells for therapeutic purposes, which essentially involves cell transplants into the nervous system. In order to achieve this, Brüssler and his team have established a series of methods to develop standardized stem cells found in the nervous system, and even mature nerve cells from skin and blood cells. Cell programming is a fascinating process. So-called transcription factors are essential in this process. These are powerful genetic switches that can transform programs in the cell and thus change the differentiation of the cell. When taken from patients, these transformed cells facilitate a better understanding of the onset of psychiatric diseases like autism and schizophrenia, which can occur in the earliest stages of brain development. This could lead to improvements in the drug therapy of such diseases. This way, we observe the earliest changes that occur as the cells are maturing in the dish. In other words, we're sort of watching the disease develop. When it comes to therapy approaches for neurodegenerative diseases, the focus is instead on how cell models can also be used to test agents and how cell loss in the brain could be compensated. One approach to tackling this issue is the development of cell transplants. The great difficulty or challenge is that there are few diseases in which only one type of nerve cell preferentially fails. Many diseases affect a wide variety of neuronal subtypes, for example Alzheimer's or stroke. The question of how several cell types can be replaced simultaneously remains still unresolved. One possibility for the future might be to consider integrating human neuronal networks into the brain and to explore the extent it can adopt and make use of such networks in the context of plasticity processes. While Oliver Brüssler endeavors to better understand how the cells in our head work, communicate with each other, and can serve as replacements for defective cells, he has set his sights even higher. With the Stem Cell Factory, a robotic system his team has developed in Bonn, he hopes to produce specific, genetically modified cells with the requisite quality and consistency, so that they can one day be deployed in therapeutic applications. For Brüssler and his team, researching diseased brain cells and potential ways to heal them requires a great deal of discussion and exchange. It also involves extensive cooperation with other institutes at the University Hospital of Bonn. Their combined efforts promise to bring about a better future for patients.